To continue along the pumpkin theme, today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to make our own pumpkin spice mug cake. It's pumpkin everything. Right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we're Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time, you upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. Well, it is pumpkin season. Pumpkin everything. Pumpkin everything. And for Rachel, pumpkin everything means it's like Thanksgiving time, time to decorate the house and fall things. For me, pumpkin season means one thing. What's that? It's almost Christmas time. I was going to say, like, why are you wearing, like, the family roadster already? Because I went into my closet and it was hanging in the front because obviously somebody wore my t-shirts. Maybe to go to bed. <laughs> And yeah, all I can think about when I start seeing pumpkin is it's Christmas time, even though it's not even Halloween yet. I cannot like fast forward through this season because <laughs> I love pumpkin everything. And it's kind of funny. We didn't intend for this to turn into like pumpkin week on two crazy ketos, but yeah. it sort of turned into that. It turned into that. I mean, we, we tried the new pumpkin uh, mug cake from Primal Noms. Mm -hmm. We did the one from Smart Baking Company, which was really good. We did the creamer. And we did the creamer and the super coffee from Kai too. So we said, why not make our own pumpkin spice mug cake? And we thought, hey, this is gonna go down like every recipe we do. Joe's gonna come up with something <laughs> magically delicious and I'm gonna try it and be like, yes, awesome. First try, like amazing. Didn't work that way. Not This so. is only a little piece of um, all of what I think were good recipes, but Rachel's like, I'll go back to the drawing board. I never do that, but I didn't realize, like, I am very, like, particular about my pumpkin muffin, and I want it right. What it came down to was, do you want your m pumpkin mug cake to be, like, much more like a muffin, or do you want it a little bit more custardy, like a very moist cake? And I like the very moist cake kind. Yeah. So if you're the person that's like, I want it more like a cake consistency, I guess, right? No, this is not the video for you. Well, no, I'm going to put a thing in the recipe on the notes on how you can make it a little bit more cakey. So let's get into what we're going to need. We're so, going to see if people are Team Rachel or Team Joe. Obviously, the first thing we're going to need is some pumpkin. And just to evident, give you evidence of how much I had to keep doing this, I used the entire can of pumpkin continually retrying this recipe, but I have just enough left to do this video. There you go. I hope we do so it right. So we're gonna, we're gonna use, we don't obviously need an entire can. We only need a couple of tablespoons, but you need some canned pumpkin. Unless you're Rachel and you've gone back to the drawing board 50 Okay, minutes. we're gonna need some butter. Butter. We're going to need some erythritol. Okay. And we're using the granular kind. I'm just using the Lancanto. I like Lincanto. this one better. We need some baking powder. We need some pumpkin pie spice, or you could make your own with nutmeg and that kind of stuff, but I just like buying Fast regular track. pumpkin spice. And then we're gonna need an egg. Don't throw that. Last two ingredients, we need some vanilla, and we need some stevia. This one is kind of optional if you wanna up the sweetness without upping the carbs. And we know how Rachel feels about that. Okay, and then finally, the last thing we obviously need. The most tired mug in all of mugdom right now because this poor little Tatooine mug has been in the microwave, what, like 50 times at, at least. least. Okay, so you ready? So I've already pre-melted the butter to make this video go just a little bit faster. Are you trying to get it lined up I'm for our camera? I'm trying to. Okay, so what we're going to do, I've got everything pre-measured out. Oh, we almost forgot we also need almond, uh, coconut flour. Who would have thought you need flour in a bread recipe? Okay, so I've got everything already pre-mixed up already. We're going to go one and a half tablespoons of coconut flour. Here we go. We almost forgot. This is a recipe that is so, so easy, easy, even Rachel can make it. I love it. Okay, and it's only because I kept having to redo it over and over and over again. Okay, so we're going to go a half a tablespoon of erythritol or the Lancanto Classic Monk Fruit Sweetener. 
one teaspoon of your baking powder. And I know that seems like a lot for a mug cake, but we're using coconut flour. And we're also going to use a lot of pumpkin because we want to bring up that pumpkin flavor. Yes. So we need a little bit more baking powder to get it a little bit more cakey to find a midway between what Rachel was looking for and what I was looking for. Yeah. And then we need a half a teaspoon of our pumpkin pie spice. That smells so good. Okay. Then you're going to need about 10 drops of stevia. Now I found when you're eating 10 drops, not the, not a measure. Oh. Drops. That's about three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stevie is not an exact science. I, I found 10 to 15 drops is perfect. It offsets the cooling effect of the erythritol uh -huh. and gives you a little bit more sweetness at the same time. Did we say there's butter in here already? Yes, we said okay. one tablespoon of butter. Okay. okay. And then the last thing you need is vanilla, about a half a teaspoon or just mm. a bunch of drops in there. One for you and one for me. Oh, nice. Now we need two tablespoons of our pumpkin. And I already have it pre-measured because it's exactly what I had left out of there. Everything. So I'm going to give you that so you can get it all in there. This is very precious ingredients. It is because I don't have any left. Don't mess this up, Rachel. And then finally put your egg in there. All right. It's going to be a shell-free muffin. Okay. Just go ahead and mix it all up. Okay. Now, I am sure when we get to the next season, like Christmas season, we're doing things like chocolate mint and stuff, you'll, you'll have veto power back again. <laughs> I just pulled rank this time. Okay, that looks good. We're going to go ahead and now stick this in the microwave. One minute and 30 seconds. Okay, here we go. Take a look at that. It looks nice and fluffy. And I can see the little spices in there. Beautiful. So that's what it's going to look like right there. Piping hot. Yeah, this is going to be hot. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to hold it. <laughs> okay. It is M O I S T. There we go. Ow, that's hot. <laughs> that is hot. It did just come out of the microwave. Okay, you ready? Yes. Yeah, it is super. Moist. You ready? Yes. Here we go. Yep. That one came out perfect. It was worth the fight. It was a lot of trial and error, but I think we nailed it. I think it is awesome. So, I really do. So you want to go over the nutrition on this? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so one of these muffins is going to be 233 calories. It's going to be 18 grams of fat, 8 grams of protein, 16 total carbohydrates. And this was part of our debate. Yeah, going back and forth of do I want to have a lower carb or do I want to have a more of a pumpkin flavor? Yeah, and it's but they're going to cost you. Pumpkin's yeah. going to cost you. Yeah. But I think it's worth it. Maybe this isn't the muffin you make every single day. But this is the muffin you treat yourself with. Absolutely. So it's going to be, like I said, 16 total carbs, five and a half grams of fiber, six grams of sugar alcohol. So it's going to come down to four and a half net carbs for the whole entire muffin. But again, that is a decent sized muffin. It's definitely something where you can actually, the way cut that I've half. done the recipe is you can cut it in half and make a smaller one. Yeah. Or split it with somebody. You won't want to share this though. Now the recipe for this mug cake is linked down below as well as the variations because if you want to actually cut down the carbs just a little bit, take the amount of pumpkin you're using, cut it in half down to one tablespoon, then double the amount of butter up to two tablespoons. You'll get a similar consistency cake. It'll be higher in fat, higher in calories, but it will be lower in carbohydrates. And it will give you a chance to try the Team Joe version because this is the Team Rachel version and those the one with like the alterations, that's Team Joe. So is why don't you make them both and see which one 
one you like the best. Is there really a Team Rachel version considering Joe came up with both of them? Oh, but this is this is mine now. <laughs> Well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if there's any other pumpkin recipes that you like at this time of the year. Yeah, because maybe we missed something. There's like pumpkin salsa and pumpkin chicken or pumpkin pizza. There's all kinds of pumpkin. <laughs> Never too much pumpkin. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new pumpkin recipe, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.